All BladeBridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by BladeBridge or its team members. Hello everyone, this is Etienne and I work for BladeBridge. And today I wanted to show you guys our SQL converter that will convert Hive to Databricks Notebook. Um, before I start, uh, I just want to share that we at BladeBridge um, make command line utilities that can be run from Linux or Windows that converts from many different technologies from and to. Um, today, I'll show you guys how it works specifically for Hive to Databricks. Um, so everything that you will need for to run our converters will be directly on our portal. You can download any of the window of the our executable and any of the configuration files, which I'll go in more detail later. Um, before we start, though, I just want to show you guys what we'll be converting to or from. So um, this is standard high SQL code where we have variable declarations. We have insert statements, we're creating a table, uh, we're trunking another table, and then we have another insert statement. So how it works. So I always create a bat file, and I usually create a folder with all of the things that I need for um, to run the conversions. So as you can see, we have our executable here. Then our JSON configuration file. This is a vital point of any conversion we do here at BladeBridge. This, um, we wanted to externalize these configurations to allow our users to not work in a black box environment and have the freedom and power to um, change the conversion to their liking or to the pattern that they prefer because there's multiple ways uh, something can be converted. Um, then, I'll go into more details about this later. Then our actual input file, our license file, which, which we will provide to you. And then, okay, where are we uh, putting um, this new file? And I always choose to run verbose mode and redirect to a log file, just so I can see exactly how conversion was done. So, before I start, we have my input file in here which I just showed you guys, and our output file. Then all I need to do is simply run this bat file. It usually takes a few seconds. And here we go. Then um, to our outputs, can look here and we can actually import it directly into Databricks and look into it from there. So import, and I can just take this file and drop it in here. So as you can see, our variable declarations actually create widgets, which is the standard in Databricks. And as you can see, we got how to insert statements in the in SQL code that is Databricks flavored, our create table. And as you can see, all of our um, statements were successfully um, separated and created in the Databricks notebook. Um, I just want to take some time to also show you guys the configuration file. So this is a very standard um, configuration file we have. Um, we accept inheritance, so we can inherit from other configuration files. This also allows our users to inherit from our um, generic JSON file and add whatever they want on top of it. Um, and one thing I want to point out is the consolidation statements. So this is actually what created, what scanned the entire um, SQL file and then consolidated all the variables into widgets. Um, we can go in further detail on this, but I'll probably do that in another video. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and we'll have a lot more videos coming out for 
um, whatever source technologies to Databricks. Um, we're really excited about this product and um, thank you for tuning in and I look forward to, um, to making another video. Uh, thanks guys.